This is a Damien Television Productions presents. Welcome to Are You Afraid of the Creepy Pasta Tales, Episode 12 Pokemon Lost Silver. You see, I am a simple college student living alone in an apartment. I was a very idealistic about the release of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver here in the States. I have purposely locked myself out of all media and the internet aside from school purposes. That means no fortune, no slash v slash, and no bulk media, etc. As I was busy with the school year and being poor at the time, I wasn't able to buy Soul Silver at its launch date. After my school year ended, I ordered Soul Silver on, on Amazon. But, however, it would take a week for it to arrive. I decided that during that time, I would replay my crystal version on my silver Game Boy Color. However, however, I realized that long ago, my mom threw it away because I told her the safe went dead. And I was very upset about it then. She also threw my way my silver version, so I, all I have is my Game Boy Color. As such, I set out to GameStop and bought a used silver version, as it's the only Pokemon game left that they have for the Game Boy Color. Ten dollars, fairly cheap. I went home and started up for a nostalgia trip. However, there were things started to get bizarre, and most likely the reason why you read this. The Game Freak logo started up as normal, but it just froze there. I thought the cartridge was just errored or something, so I turned it off and on. The same thing happened. I tried pressing A and start over and over, and all the buttons. Eventually, the logo vanished and there was a black screen for about 5 seconds. Suddenly, rather than going to the usual menu screen, I was already in this game in this previous save file, which was odd, as I was expecting all these cards that have been wiped by the poor battery. Either way, I, was compl I wasn't complaining, as I would have chosen the continue option to see what the previous guy did anyway. First off, I checked his trainer information. His name was just three dots. He didn't have that much originality. I checked his profile. Apparently, he had 9,999 hours put into the game. With all 60 badges, 9999.9999.9 Poke Dollars in all 251 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Seeing as he apparently had new and Selby logged also, I'm guessing he either used a Game Genie or was a really hardcore Pokemon player back then. I checked his Pokemon to see what a badass team he is. To my surprise, I saw five unknowns and a six Pokemon named Hurry. I'm thinking that it must be some cool jerk joke about a person who last played this game. But I decided to check the profiles of those Pokemon anyway. As they expect, there were five different letters of unknown, all level five. I was a bit shaky with my unknown alphabet at the time, but I identified the word spelled out to be leave. As for the sixth Pokemon, it turned out to be a silent quill. Mind you, this is before there were individualized Pokemon icons. The silent quill looked normal, but it was level 5 with only one health point left, with only two attacks, Leer and Flash. I don't know why they called it named in hurry, but at the time I disregarded it. The most eerie thing was that, despite my volume being at max, none of the Pokemon he had said their usual cries. They're, they're just pure silent. Just enough from the team, I closed it. I was parked at what appears to be a room inside Bellsprout Tower. However, for some reason, there were no NPCs around. Even more eerie was that the pillar in the middle didn't move at all. 
as if just leaning on its side. There was no music at all, and there was no exit or ladder, or at least I thought there wasn't. I walked around for a few minutes, but can't seem to find a way out. This was certainly not a room I'd seen in a Bowstrap Tower before. I tried checking my item for escape rope, but the bag was completely emptied. There wasn't any wild Pokemon either. Finally, I managed to find a ladder, which turned out to be a pillar. The screen turned black, and the music started playing. I, w I had a sudden chill, as I recognized that melody I heard to be the theme you when you listen to the radio at the Alf Ruins where the unknown were at. I immediately realized it wasn't a loading transition, but rather it was a dark room and wouldn't need flash. Before I took care of that though, I immediately checked my pokey gear to change the radio to something more pleasant, but it turns out there was no radio card, not even a phone or, or time cards. There was a, only a map card in which gold from earlier and I call them gold from now on. They were just waiting, walking in the middle of some black. I call it wreck quite cynical that has has flashed. I turned off my poke gear and made cynical use flash. I didn't see any message saying hurry had used flash or anything at all like that. The room just became lit just like that, and I soon regret it. The, doom wa the room was a chilling blood red with a linear gray path heading south. The ladder I used goes up, used to go up and down was not there at all. I had no choice to have, but to have south. The screen got darker every 20 st steps I made until I finally made it to the end, which appears the sign. I read the sign. Turn back now. Suddenly, I was asked to answer yes or no, but there was no questions asked. I chose yes, but I don't know what it says, and I was I was asking, and the screen went black again, making a making a ladder climb sound. The unknown radio music stopped, and then a few seconds was placed with it not as creepy pokey radio music. I was in their dark room again. I held my breath and used flash again. Suddenly, it said that hurry was fainted, which was odd since I recalled there were no stun status conditions like poison on him, and I clearly wasn't in the battle. I po checked my Pokemon quickly, and suddenly he's no longer in my party. In fact, after a little bit of investigation, none of my Pokemon are there, but still or placed with level 10 unknown. It's the same thing as before in Spell on the Unknown. But then Team of Unknown said hi de did. I don't know why. Either way, after the creepy change, you know, after the change, the room was lit to reveal myself in a very small room that appears to have four squares big. The walls of that room were great bricks, as if something inside was hollowed out. Outside of that room appears to be a bunch of grapes similar to one in Pokemon Red and Blue. I walked around that small room and pressed A, but nothing happened. I already conclude that this was clearly a hack game or some sadistic game sold to Game Shop or GameStop. However, my curiosity curiosity keep me going. Check the profile of Dots again, only to find out that the Sprite of Gold was missing his arm. He also seems to appear less smug, but rather seems more sad and empty in that in a way that I don't know how to describe. For some reason, it also says he has 24 badges, which was clearly impossible. After a few minutes, of aimless wondering, Mike currently suddenly spun and did the escape road spinning animation. Instead of flying up though, my character spins downward slowly as it is sinking. After the mute screen, the music stopped. After finally landing, the overworld sprite of gold is completely different now. Instead of the usual red color he does, he's completely white now, including his skin. As if the came straight from the colorless Game Boy games placed into the colored background of the Game Boy color. I checked his profile now, 
white while now is this white in the overworld sprite. He lost his legs and what has appeared to be bloody tears coming from his eyes. It also says that he now has 20 32 badges, which now starts to disturb me that this this change of number seems to represent something important. I also checked my Pokemon, which this time contains five unknown and level hundred Selby without a nickname. The unknown are this time level 15 and sped out dying. I checked the Selby pro profile. It was a shining Selby, except there's only half the sprite. One leg, one arm, one eye. And oh, it has one attack. Very song. Perish song. The area I was in itself was the Sprout Tower, but the immobile power is before. Except everything is apparently bred now as so I walk north for what felt like forever. Eventually, I counted some generic man and woman NPC, and they all lined up to the side that thus facing the long stainless pair in the middle in the pillar. They were also white, and nothing happens when I try to speak to them. I kept on going north until eventually the pillar finally appears chopped off with a transparent wear knot spot. And I went up to red, and while even pressing A, I suddenly engage and finally in the battle. The music starts again, which sounds like the unknown radio music again, but played backwards. Gold's battles, back sprite. That matches his front one with the bloody eyes, white skin, and black lack of arms. While red s sprite was the same as before in GSC, except transparent. The, t the title simply says "Wants the Battle," as he has no name, and both of us have one Pokemon each, which is weird. As I swore, I had six with the unknowns. The shiny Silby come out considerably with a half a sprite with for the back sprite also. The shiny noise and animation was different. As the sounds it made sounds multiple screech attacks used constantly. Red sound a seemingly normal male Pikachu, except he is t level twenty two hundred fifty five and his sprite seems sad and has tears in his eyes. Rather than a, its usual fight item P K M N in run menu, it only given the option to use the attacks. Since Selby only has one, I choose it. Naturally, since Pikachu was level 25, 255, he went first. Pikachu used Curse, lowering his speed and increasing his other stats. I'm not even sure if Pikachu uses Curse. Selby used Parasong in three turns. Both Pokemon got KO'd. Not like I have the choice. At this point, I didn't even go back to the fight menu as the battle had just continued without me. Also note that there were no animation at all for some reason. He could use, use Flat Hill, which didn't do much damage despite his level and boosted his, boosted his health was maxed. Selby used Parasong again. Enough patents as it was already used. Pikachu used frustration, which all which did a ton of damage, knocking Selby down to less than 10 points. Selby used pain split, which surprised me. That Selby didn't even have that attack in the first place. Now P Selby and Pikachu have about 150 health points. Pikachu, Pikachu used his mean look, like that didn't do anything. As much expected due to the effects of Parasong, my Selby fainted, except in the text, it said Selby had died. Consistent of the ordinary drop off the screen animation, the Selby's back sprite just vanished. For some reason, the Pikachu was still up, even the Parasong, and it didn't count as my loss. Pikachu used one more different attack beyond the 5 attack limit, and that's Destiny Bond. Afterwards, says Pikachu had died with a slow fade out animation. Apparently, I was the winner as the red sprite showed up and says dots. At the point, I was just freaked out as it's that transparent red sprite was suddenly beheaded, being leaving nothing but a transparent body. Then the battle ended at the point with the music. I'm back in the overworld and 
when an error changed to a gold sprite. Now he's transparent as Red's overworld sprite. I checked the gold uh, to to get the file, and it says, uh, and I saw in the profile, it's remains of his head with a transparent skin. The head was zoomed in a bit, showing a black void in his eyes. It's now stated that he now has 40 badges. Then backed out and checked my Pokemon, and there were all 1220 unknown, which then spell up, read no more. I felt I thought it was like next to the end of the game. There was apparently no music playing, but for some reason I felt like something something that was there cut could be heard. I was back in my room in New Bark Town. Maybe I finally get to play this game properly, but who am I kidding? I knew this game had must have done something that person did. I walked around my room to interact with things as I'm a bit afraid to go down the stairs to see who was weighing down there. Now, I said walk as the background was moving. The goal was not moving as his transparent lips without doing so. Just flowing like the ghosts you see in Diamond and Pearl. As you expect, the radio, computer, and TV did not work, so I had no choice to, to go downstairs. I end up in the same lower level room in my house. Everything seems normal except mom isn't home. After falling to interact and failing to in this room, I decided to go outside. The door leading outside did not work. Instead, I just walked straight through the void. Keep moving south and see what the heck is going on. And my house vanished as I heard as I head south into the void. As I went to the void, it was creepy. The outline of gold's transparent sprite turned out to be a contrast with the pitch black. Eventually, it reached the white area and gold sprite turned back and transparent again. I continued south without thinking it stopping at all. And after a long trek south, I finally counted something. It was gold's regular sprite. I talked to it and said, goodbye forever. Noticeably with a space in between the forever and and dots and vanished. As that happened, I used three question marks used nightmare, which at that point I would not deny that being possible. Gold denier used an escape animation spinning slowly downward like before. I am now back into a small hollowed out room surrounded by graves earlier and says at least I was back there. There was no sprite anymore. I tried to walk around but nothing moved. Not even wall bumping noise. I checked that my prayer profile with absolutely no sprite left of gold. At least it says I have zero badges and badges badges and all the pictures of the Johto gym leaders at the bottom were placed with skulls. I checked my Pokemon, which were all level twenty five unknown. As I expect, I, I spell out the phrase that I'm there to read. I'm dead. As soon as I went back to the overworld, the room I suppose was in was then covered in the same blocks as the walls. Now I, I didn't figure out what exactly that room was when the next text was said. R.I.P. means resting peace. That room was a giant grave, surrounded by other graves. Gold has been already been dead. He presumably been a few years after he defeated Red, and he was a young master who, despite his efforts in collecting so many badges and attempts at becoming a Pokemon master, was still un unable to avoid the unfavorable fate of death, and his efforts were eventually forgotten by the next generation. I was unescaped able to escape from that text no matter when I press, tried restarting the game and the same thing happened which I finally decided to give up on that horrible nightmare. After that experience, I never, well, will never look at it gimmick gun in the same way again. They say that the only the first generation have folk tales and legends, but the second one shows me how pleasant the truth can be. I eventually enjoyed Sil Soul Silver immensely, but I can still unthink that this Rit game had told me. All right. That was Pokemon Red Lost Silver. Wow, is that weird or what? 
a creepypasta about a lost and weird Pokemon game and it was the original. This one did not have cliches. And not even, uh, it barely did. It was different. And also, it's really weird at that time when this game came out. It's also depressing when when the character Gold died at, at that part it's at the end of the creek past actual in the news is the game and in early September 2010 a complete working fan game of lost silver was made the game is in its own executable rather than a ROM hack it does not require an anime emulator or the Pokemon silver ROM it has to talk about expanding the story but adding different series of events if the player chooses now as a sign that says turn back now while many people still that the event when choosing no which is referred to as hidden by fans it's a made up addition by the fans this is in fact made up by the original wider in response to the creator of the fan game the standalone fan game was made using an underlying Pokemon engine created by a game creation program called Game Maker. The source file or the game can be downloaded and edited here. Alright, this was episode 12 of Are You Afraid of Creepy Pasta Tales? Episode 13 will be, well, you know what this is, a Nair Tom and Jerry Creepy Pasta, a lost episode one. But it's from a VHS tape. Tom and Jerry VHS. So I'll see you in episode 13. Uh, 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 uh. has been a Damien Lacombe Television Productions. Thank you and subscribe.